What's cracking guys and today I got another exciting Pokemon video for you We are finally doing at long last the Pokemon Gajinka video did a little announcement on my Twitter saying, you know, just send me some lovely Pokemon that have been transformed into kawaii girls. Or, or boys, if you're into that. And credit the artist who made these awesome creations. Also, follow me on Twitter for some cool stuff. I, I don't know. And also Twitch, too, because I do freaking Pokemon, like, gaming stuff there. You should check it out. Anyway, some exciting stuff ahead. Let's check out to see what you guys have submitted. Alright, I gotta admit, that one is absolutely stunning. I love the hair drills. I love uh, the little boots that go along with it. The, like, the maid uniform. Everything is really clever there. Kaka did a good job. On, that's a, it's a funny artist name, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's good. Makes me want to catch whatever that Pokemon is. I don't know that one. I've only got up to one through three generations right now, and I still am sketchy on the third generation. Okay, I think I see why this Snorlax was upvoted a little bit, but it's kind of more of on a cute than a sexy side here. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very cute. I like how it shows the belly off in a kind of way. That makes sense. It Honestly, it makes sense given Snorlax designs. Also, a big thick girl. Nice. Alright, that Sylveon is absolutely stunning. I like the leggings it has to emphasize Sylveon's little boots there. I like the ribbons that are going across as like the bow that's tied there. The color scheme's good and it looks like a very pretty Pokemon. The one thing about Sylveon though is it has the flesh ribbons. So technically that should be like her flesh coming out from her <laughs> in a bow. Alright, now we're just getting Pokemon horror stories here. Uh. Yeah, that's not the Gajinka I wanted to see. Thank you. Th thanks. Thanks, Twitter. That is, you suck. You're supposed to change the Pokemon into a girl, not put the girl into a Pokemon. Like, opposite here. All right, it looks like Nuts Taku has submitted a Mewtwo, and what's its Gajinka form here, Nuts? It's, uh... Why, 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 why is this every time? Why do you do this? Gosh, my third channel is such a little doof. Okay, and we have a Doug Trio. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, boy, oh. Well, I didn't want to be scarred for life. You literally put them together <laughs> like that. I mean, I guess that's how they would look in a human form. <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's uh, that's nightmare fuel. A lot of people really like this Absol Gajinka. I like the hairstyle coming off of that there. It's very cute. Uh, the outfit's kind of the same. Like, ooh, I like that little fur like rim going around. That's that's not bad. And this one's by Takashima. That waifu kind of reminds me of one of those girls that are cold-hearted. But you are, you could get him to warm up to you with, you know, a little bit of love and training, you know, yeah, 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 all right, all right we'll stop there. These onigiri are delicious! Jelly-filled donuts stuffed are Noble's favorite. Just because I'm doing a Pokemon video doesn't mean you have to put jelly-filled donuts into it, why? And that's a Magikarp, um, working out, I... <laughs> It's not exactly how I imagined a, a magic card. <laughs> you just put the fish head on him and he's buff. Uh, but yeah, I, I guess that's how they turn into Gyarados. I, you know, there's lots, lots of trading there. You'll get there one day. And this is Tangrowth hitting us with a stun spore. <laughs> what a meme! <laughs> oh, doing the little salting there. Yeah, get you hit with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. And there is a Teddy Ursa with the little Pokemon right beside it looking all adorable. Oh my god. Oh god, that was cute. That was really cute. It makes sense they would have a Teddy Ursa like stuffed animal too, you know? It's, cause it's like that's the bear in that world, I assume. So that's that's just adorable. That that honestly is cute. Alright, so here is a Salazel. 
and then going to the Gajinka form is that right there. A very dominant uh, chocolate skin whammon with some uh, nasty firepower there, some dark power. Oh, that's, that's not bad. I like the hair color design. Apparently, uh, she is the matriarch of the Pokemon species there too, and I, I can see why I'd want Mama to step on me. I mean, what? Okay, so we have a Mega Banette and a Mimikyu by Oreha Akumada. And the Mega Banette is... I love that costume. The witch's hat. It's always the witch's hat that gets to me, man. I love that kind of stuff and so many zippers. And then the Mimikyu's design... That's pretty cute as well there. You got the dark underneath there, the Pikachu kind of skin on top there with the, a wand of the tail. That's actually kind of smart with the witch design. Like honestly, I'm, I'm getting super impressed with some of these designs here. It's, it's making me want to play the game Moe Mod <laughs> where all the Pokemon are transformed into anime girls. <laughs> like I, I want to do that now. Man, I don't even know what that Pokemon is. But seeing the actual thing right here, oh my goodness, it's it's phenomenal. I like how the dress kind of goes down into that tight fit. Uh, kind of like how the tail goes and the wings are like the hair ribbon thing. Oh, that's so smart. That really is smart how that one's done. And making the eyeballs into the big like earrings too, that's so smart. It's not every day people take a bug Pokemon and make it into something like pretty. Like... People just don't like bugs. I don't I don't understand why. And I knew this was coming. The Galade and Gardevoir <laughs> looking pretty good. Everyone's favorite wife of Gardevoir. Um my, mine too. Uh, but yeah, Galade, I he's pretty cool, like a little fighting psychic kind of guy going on there. Not bad. But Gardevoir is really where it's at. Kinda looks like has she has Weiss's sword. But let's be honest, they're already kind of gajinkified with their designs as is. I mean, they're waifus and husbando, like, already. But, uh, it's, it's nice to see them more my way. Wow! And an Incineroar waifu. I think this kind of style fits are very good, at least in Gia's. Uh, and level 80, Nature Jolly, Ability Intimidate. Yeah, that would definitely intimidate me. Um, you would kind of see that going to a furry convention or something. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the design is spot on. The hair is really well done. I like how uh, I like how it very much mimics Incineroar's uh, style. And the championship belt, she would be buff. Honestly, uh, a female Incineroar is a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> ah, a Leafeon by Sunset Dragon. I like uh, I like the very foresty theme here, especially with the bow and arrow, like for grass attacks. They thought about that, and it does look like an elf, too, very much from uh, Dragon's Crown, with its style mimicking that. It's it's good. It's good. I drew this myself. It's a Zig Zagoon, and it's literally says Raftalia Shield here. <laughs> it's not. That's not a Zig Zagoon. That's, it's not quite the same. You guys memeing by upvoting that? I see. I you guys memeing pretty hard. And a tentacle, not actually looking lewd with the tentacles, but actually looking elegant. That's, that's honestly not something I was expecting with a, a, a tentacle. Like, I, I was not expecting that. And is that a Garbador Gajig actually made a, a trash waifu Pokemon? <laughs> Actual trash waifu Pokemon. Oh, gosh. Oh boy, oh the memes. But she's actually kind of cute. I like how the hair is kind of like all messy, kind of all over the place, kind of looks like seaweed and garbage and stuff, and the dress is just all kind of like sewn on and it, it's cute. But yes, it's a literal trash wipe. I don't know why they decided to make Pokemon out of garbage, but that is something the Pokemon devs have decided they wanted to do and this is what we got. Area, the artist herself actually submitting some stuff here. Okay, let's check it out. Ah, a little Umbreon and Espeon duo there. Where, uh, of course, the dark boy, he's brooding. This <laughs> is the dude. <laughs> Makes sense there. I like Umbreon's. Dis yeah, Umbreon looks pretty good. I like it. This one's so simple. The Kirlia design here. She looks so adorable. Has those little gloves on and the hair. It's so simple. But it's so striking. You don't have to go over the top with like the clothes, but to make it so cute and interesting. 
I know people are more inclined to do the, the evolved forms, especially of Gardevoir here, but uh, seeing like the middle ground forms too, it's, it's nice sometimes, it's nice. Wow, a Beedrill design that I actually really, really enjoy. <laughs> that's, that's not bad. Has the spears, that makes sense. Those spears are really cool. The dress is phenomenal. The leggings with the, the stripes looking pretty cool. And I like the antenna too, she's cute. Beedrill always has the bad rap in Pokemon too. I feel bad for Beedrill, it's always the villain. But you know, it, it is a bee. Bees can be like little, little butt munches. And we have a Skitty! That's a that's a Skit- okay, um... I think- I think it's time we stop here, that's not good, we should stop. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my Pokemon Kajinkas, there's so many more that were submitted on my Twitter. If you guys can go ahead, check it out, tons of amazing art by great phenomenal artists there too and hopefully a lot of them were tagged too if you want to find them too so just go to my twitter in case you, you missed any of them so if you guys enjoyed this pokemon gajinka and you maybe want some more pokemon or awesome content just well sit the like subscribe for some more good stuff check out my twitch too for more pokemon content i play the games there <laughs> and i hope to see you beautiful sons and guns again next time you crazy mother Oh! <laughs>